Hi everyone, I'm Tiziano Piccardi, postdoc at Stanford University, and I'm going to present you Temporal Rhythms of Information Consumption on Wikipedia. I work in collaboration with Martin Gerlach, a research scientist at the Wikimedia Foundation, and Bob West, my PhD advisor at EPFL. We know that Wikipedia fulfills many different information needs. This is thanks to the large offer of content that the platform provides. For example, only in English, Wikipedia has more than 6 million articles. Given the importance of Wikipedia for the information ecosystem, many studies aim to characterize the information consumption on the website. However, it's important to take into account that the information needs are context specific. Many factors can impact the information consumption. Uh, some of them include, for example, the physical location of uh, one person, like uh, being at uh, school or being at home, social demographic factors of one country, uh, education level of uh, the reader, personal preferences, the mental state. We know, for example, that uh, we read the different content when we are bored, and time. In this work, we investigated this last feature, time, that in the case of readership on Wikipedia is a, an understudied dimension. Specifically for this presentation, I focus on one research question, which factors influence the temporal rhythms of Wikipedia consumption? To understand uh, and to, to answer this question, we investigate one month of anonymized server log uh, from Wikipedia in English. The dataset includes the uh, title of the page loaded, the country from where the request is originated, the device user, desktop or mobile, and the timestamp with the relative time zone. In this study, we convert the event time uh, into local time using the time zone information. This transformation uh, gives us, the, for the first time, a data set uh, time aligned that describe the interest by hour for each page without the effect of the time zone. In total, we analyze more than 3 billion events uh, across 6 million articles. With this data, we can investigate the daily rhythms. Uh, in this plot, uh, you can see the normalized daily pattern affected by the circadian rhythm that, uh, as expected, shows uh, low activity during the night and increasing during the day and uh, uh, max activity in the evening. However, when we look at the pattern of uh, individual articles, these patterns uh, get more interesting. For example, in this plot, uh, we see uh, the uh, daily pattern of one article about STEM with higher activity uh, than average during the day while an article about uh, media, a movie in this case, with a reverse pattern, peaking during the evening. Uh, to model this behavior and capture these differences, we define the concept of divergence, uh, defined as the ratio between the pattern of each uh, article and the pattern of the global average. An article with a flat line as a divergence pattern uh, means that it follows exactly the global average, and it doesn't have any specific attention fingerprint. Meanwhile, uh, values greater or smaller than one represent uh, uh, more or less attention than average for that specific hour. To understand what factors uh, are associated with a, a different pattern, um, we investigate three properties. The device used to access the page, the topic of the page represented as a vector of 38 dimension obtained from ORES, and the country of the request. Uh, we model the consumption then series with a linear regression that predict the expected fraction of attention for each, each hour of the day. Uh, to understand the uh, relation with the time, we included uh, the hour and uh, all the interaction terms between each factor and the 24 hours. In other words, given the uh, properties of the page load, we predict the hour hourly deviation from the global average. And since we included the interaction, the interaction term uh, between each feature um, and the hour of the day, we can investigate uh, this uh, 24 interaction coefficient for each feature and uh, represent them as a daily time series. 
So starting uh, from uh, the device feature, we can observe uh, that uh, um, access from uh, desktop is more common uh, during the day uh, with, uh, uh, with desktop being predictor of the working hour. Then investigating the topics of the articles, we found regularities that uh, define what type of, type of content uh, we consume during the day. In this plot, we see on top the uh, patterns of topic associated with STEM that tend to have a, a similar pattern with higher consumption than global average during the day. Uh, the bottom plot shows the um, average access time described as the circular mean uh, from the time series of each plot. Um, STEM topic uh, tend to concentrate uh, during the working hours, uh, with an exception for uh, space. A complementary picture emerges by investigating media, uh, where most of them are accessed during the evening and night, with an exception for uh, radio. Topics associated with culture show higher variability. It's uh, interesting to notice uh, that uh, comics and internet culture are preferred uh, during the uh, night hours, and uh, food and drinks uh, follow the pattern of lunch and dinner. Similarly uh, the, uh, to culture, topics associated with society uh, show some variability, uh, with business and education showing a clear daily pattern, and the uh, uh, military article preferred as uh, uh, night reads. Finally, investigating the country coefficients, uh, uh, we can notice similar consumption, consumption pattern, uh, such as uh, preference for um, morning uh, reading, um, or a visible pattern that highlights uh, uh, country where readers prefer to take a break from online consumption to have lunch. In summary, uh, we learned that uh, Wikipedia consumption uh, follows daily rhythms. Um, device, country, and topic of the article are associated with different consumption patterns. And Wikipedia can offer uh, behavioral insights at global scale that are harder to obtain otherwise. Thank you for your attention, and I invite you to check out the paper to learn more.